Hi, I'm Roger Mader. I'm with Ampersand, and I'm here to talk to you today about culture change. How do you go about going through a transformation with your organization where you bring your people along and you align the organization to make it the smoothest ride you can? 20 years ago, I was working with a healthcare client, a supplier to hospitals in the healthcare field in the US and internationally. We were going through the first wave of major cost reduction in healthcare, and this company had undertaken a necessary shift where they dramatically reduced their sales force and took folks who had specialized for years in a single domain of like hematology in the blood lab or in the radiology department for x-rays and the supplies for that and suddenly told them, you have to carry all of those bags. You have to represent us across all of those departments with very detailed, deep technical knowledge where you're competing against other people that deep technical knowledge and they were going through survival angst because their friends had left them, because they'd lost all these, this camaraderie and this sense of love around the family that was the organization. And on top of that, they had this huge burden of being required to learn a whole new array of things very quickly, in short order, and without remuneration for that. It was just thrust upon them. The senior executive for the company said, I need to change my culture. People aren't getting it. They're not transforming fast enough. Uh, the, the culture's broken. People are used to it being a slow bureaucracy. I need it to be fast and entrepreneurial. Can you help me change my culture? And of course, the answer was yes. But the problem with the question is, there's a perception that you change the culture directly. And in fact, culture is an after effect. Here's what I had this executive confront. If you want to transform your organization, you have to be very clear with people about the purpose for that change. Why is it necessary and what are we trying to achieve? Now the facts on the ground were very clear, but they hadn't been articulated. And you can imagine that the average person in the trenches who's been working in the industry for years just may not see this looming monumental transformation that's going to upend the industry. So as an executive at the forefront, on the bow of the ship, you see this tidal wave coming. It is your job to sound the alarm and be really clear about why you have to transform. Secondly, you need to be very specific about what process we're going to use to deliver on this new future. If our purpose is to be the most effective at whatever our new craft is in this transforming world, here's how we're going to do it. And in sequence, we would next determine what structure equips us to deliver on this process to fulfill this purpose. And finally, to put people first, I encourage my clients to remember to put them last. What I mean by that is, the last thing you'd think about in this exercise is what are the skills, talents, and motivations I need in each of the cells of my org chart in order to be able to deliver this new process appropriately to affect that purpose. All of this is the design of the organization, a propeller that propels your craft forward. This purpose sets the direction. Aligning these propeller blades gives me heft and, and uh, propels me forward in order to achieve it. And what that does is creates a vortex, a wind behind this propeller that's reflective of the alignment of the organization. So for example, if my process is not clearly defined and I've got a chipped blade here, or if I've got a bunch of problems with the way that I've designed the structure, or my people are just not well equipped for what they're trying to do, all of a sudden I've got this incredibly out of whack, engineered, horribly organization to deliver on this purpose. And although I'm pointing in the right direction, it is gonna be a bumpy ride. This propeller is gonna be going choppa 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 chop, and the organization is gonna feel like the inside of an aircraft that's getting yanked around in turbulence. That vortex behind it is going to be that turbulent wind. So when the senior officer said, I need to change my culture, what he was experiencing was this rough wind. And what he had to do to fix it was not change the wind, or it wasn't train the people. That was the last thing he had to consider. What are you going to train them in? You haven't even figured out what job they're going to do because you haven't even turned out the process. It might not have been clear about the purpose. So thinking that the problem is the people is almost never right. And for some reason, I think because people are the thing that's right in front of us, we're a simple monkey, we think that's the problem, it is not. We've got to use our frontal lobe and figure out how to engineer the system, and that's simply an important component. Get that right. You engineer that properly, you can now assess your organization, you can chart out a plan, and you can give people very clear direction on what they need to do. Your organization is propelling 
through the marketplace. So an important thing for you to remember is that in this blue sky, there's lots of other propellers out there. Every organization is trying to sort this out and very often in very similar weather conditions. And remember that what you're producing in this vortex is your culture. The culture is the wind. You don't change the culture, you change the organization design to serve that market well. All of this I refer to as the propeller model. And it's important because although this operates at a pretty high level, sure, this is maybe a useful framework for thinking about what you need to do. The real question is how do you go about doing it? We have a framework built on this that allows you to assess your organization and develop very specific action plans about what you need to do. The propeller assessment model is a very simple framework. It takes each of these components, the market, telling culture that comes from that, and ultimately this produces tangible, valuable market outcomes or results. What we ask you to do is think about your organization at five levels. Level one, you're a novice. Level two, you're really just getting your bearing on transforming the organization. And level five, you're an expert. If we're talking about your ability to innovate, your ability to transform the organization, level five means I've got a very clear understanding of not only the market today, but where the market's heading. This means that you've got very leading edge frameworks for doing trend analysis and forecasting that's been proven over time. It takes hard work to be competent in forecasting future markets. Purpose at a novice level means that I've barely even said where we're going or why. At the expert level, I've been incredibly clear about what we're doing and I probably know three more moves in the future based on my ability to understand where the market's going and I can articulate that today. Steve Jobs was a genius at this. Process, unclear, undocumented, documented, repeatable, exceptional, best in class. Structure well-optimized to deliver on that process or not. People, equipped, capable, motivated, world-class, over here. The culture, reflective of those things, you would see these kinds of behaviors. At a novice level, you'd see people who are confused, they're paranoid, they're angst-ridden, they're leaving. At an uh, uh, optimal level, at level five, you'd see people who are aligned in the organization, they are propelling the legacy of the company, they're becoming their own future, and they're attracting the rest of the world to it. And finally, the outcomes, these outcomes at a novice level are going to be very unpredictable and suboptimal to the market. And at the top level, you are creating an unbelievable revenue engine that is getting you higher margins or higher return on capital than anybody else in your sector. Use this as a way to determine where you stand today, a self-assessment among a large body of your people, your customers, your suppliers, will give you a very accurate assessment of where you stand. We'll give you the completed version of this so you can do a self-assessment, distribute it among your folks, assemble that back together. We can gather the data for you. We can assemble it for you and give you a benchmark assessment that allows you to build a transformational engine. Because if you rate yourself here, the good news is it's very straightforward to see what I'd need to do to get here. One of the key lessons is it's very difficult to do this and virtually impossible short of an acquisition to jump two levels and you don't need to. You just need to have a very clear plan for marching from the present to the future. Of course, putting the propeller model to work requires you to be able to assess where you stand today and act on it. Click below, give us your information. You can download the, the assessment, apply it within your own organization, contact us if we can help. Thanks very much.